everyone, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and for today's video, I know it sounds like we're getting ready for a pop-off, but I thought we'd switch it up a little bit and do something fun and take a little walk down memory lane on this Monday. To be honest with you guys, I've been wanting to do a series where we kind of look at past pop culture events or a celebrity's past or a celeb couple's past, kind of dissect it, go through it, and like I said, just take a little walk down memory lane. Therefore, for the first memory lane with Madison, do we like that idea? Do we need a title? Do we not? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, I thought for this first video where we take a little walk down memory lane, it would be a lot of fun to do a deep dive into Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's past. Essentially, ever since these two got back together 17 years after their broken engagement, they have been talked about everywhere, including here on my channel. So therefore, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a complete, full Bennifer breakdown. And you guys, I can't lie, they have a very tea-filled past. I'm talking infidelity. I'm talking strippers. I mean, there's a lot that we need to sift through. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and get ready to take a little walk down memory lane with me. And let's talk about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. The year is 2002. Yes, I know the early 2000s were such simpler times. And Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck actually met on the set of their movie Geely. And at the time, Jennifer Lopez was married to her second husband, Chris Judd. After rumors that something was going down with Jen and Ben on set, the co-stars actually went official in July of 2002 when they both showed up at Jennifer Lopez's birthday party and they were seen kissing and cuddling. This marked Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's first appearance as an actual couple. And let me tell you, that was a really big deal. It was essentially the equivalent of going Instagram official in 2002. Now, remember how I told you Jennifer Lopez was technically married when her and Ben Affleck met? Well, two days after her and Ben Affleck had their official first couple appearance, Jennifer Lopez thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and file a divorce from her husband, Chris Judd. Although apparently the two had been separated for a month. Clearly Ben Affleck has a pattern of going for Jennifer Lopez while she's with another man, but let's keep moving. Now in the midst of being one of the most talked about couples in the early 2000s, Ben Affleck then made a major appearance in Jennifer Lopez's music video for Jenny from the Block. This is where we got a little peek into what it's like to be Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck through the lens of the paparazzi. And this is also when we got that iconic moment on the yacht where Ben Affleck is rubbing Jennifer Lopez's booty. Also, we're gonna take a quick pause on this memory lane and fast forward to 2008 because fun fact, Ben Affleck actually called his appearance in the Jenny from the Block music video one of his most regrettable moments. He said his appearance in that music video made him look like a quote, petulant fool, and it was quote, ungentlemanly. These are some comments he made to Fox News. I find them absolutely hilarious. However, clearly he's gotten over that regret because you know, him and Jennifer Lopez recently recreated this iconic moment when they were in St. Tropez on a yacht for her 52nd birthday. So clearly Ben actually has no regrets, not even a single letter. Name the movie, We're the Millers. Sorry, I love a good movie quote. Moving right along on memory lane, we're back in 2002 and Jen and Ben actually got engaged in November of that year. Yes, that was only five months after they initially started dating and very quickly after Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce and Ben actually proposed to Jennifer Lopez with a 6.1 carat, yes, 6.1 carat pink diamond. He did pop the question while they were visiting his family in Boston, which I've got to admit is kind of cute. They even told Diane Sawyer that after Ben proposed, they actually had dinner with Ben's mom and her boyfriend at the time. Now that brings us to our next stop along memory lane in July of 2003. I'm talking the premiere of Geely. You guys, the movie was an absolute box office flop, which was pretty surprising considering all of the hype around Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck at the time, but she did rock her engagement ring to the premiere, so that was a pretty big deal. However, unfortunately, the movie being a box office flop was kind of an omen for Jennifer Lopez. Lopez and Ben Affleck because they just started to go downhill from there. In August of 2003, one month before the two were supposed to have their wedding and get married, cheating rumors rocked Benifer. Allegedly, Ben Affleck cheated on Jennifer Lopez with a stripper when he was in Vancouver. And you guys, the glorious thing about the early 2000s, this was a time before NDAs became a staple among celebrities. So therefore, the alleged stripper who Ben Affleck allegedly had relations with actually ended up doing a tell-all interview with the Daily Mail. Her name is Tammy Morris, a Again, this interview with the Daily Mail was in August of 2003. She said that when Ben got to her place of work, AKA the strip club, he went into a private booth with four strippers, Tammy was one of them, and she told the Daily Mail that Ben kissed her while quote, his hands were moving all over my body. I'm telling you, the early 2000s were so wild. I miss them so much. She said Ben gave her and the other strippers large tips and said quote, let's keep this between us. 
In that same Tell All Daily Mail article, some of JLo's friends were quoted anonymously, of course. They said that Jen was crying over the instant, that Jen was humiliated. However, this anonymous friend still thought that there would be a wedding. Also, remember JLo's ex-husband, Chris Judd? Yes, the one who she was with right before she started dating Ben Affleck, or quite possibly was with while she started dating Ben Affleck? Well, he reportedly told one of his friends, quote, Jen is getting back what she gave. It's bad karma coming back at her. She's getting a taste of her own medicine. Again, this was in that August 2003 article from the Daily Mail. I'm telling you guys that Daily Mail article really brought all the tea and I can't lie I was living for it even all these years later. Moving on one month later in September of 2003 one day yes one day before Jen and Ben were supposed to walk down the aisle they released a statement and said that they were postponing the wedding due to a lot of public pressure. The statement said quote due to the excessive media attention surrounding our wedding we have decided to postpone the date. When we found ourselves seriously contemplating hiring three separate decoy brides at three different locations we realized that something was awry. We began to feel the spirit of what should have been the happiest day of our lives be compromised. We felt what should have been a joyful and sacred day could be spoiled for us, our families, and our friends. Sounds like a bit of an excuse, right? Right. Clearly, Jen and Ben could not recover from those cheating rumors because then four months later, in January of 2004, they officially called it quits and ended their engagement. JLo then wasted no time at all and was married to Mark Anthony in June of 2004. Mark Anthony was definitely one of JLo's longest relationship. She was actually with him until 2011 and they officially divorced in 2014. Mark Anthony is the husband that JLo shares her twins with, Emmy and Max. Ben, however, took a little longer to bounce back after him and JLo's broken engagement. He wasn't spotted out with Jennifer Gardner until October of 2004, and the two actually didn't even get married until June 2005. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner share three children together, and they officially split in 2018. But not before Ben Affleck absolutely put Jennifer Gardner through the ringer, from having a fling with a nanny, to multiple stints in rehab. Let's never forget that Jennifer Gardner, even though her and Ben Affleck were separated, still took Ben Affleck through McDonald's before dropping him off at rehab. I mean, I'm telling you, she is truly one of the best. She is an American treasure. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. I will never tolerate Jennifer Garner slander on this channel. And I know people have been trying to do it and compare her to Jennifer Lopez, but we are not here for it and we will not stand for it here in the House of Hill. I'm sorry, I know that was a lot, but 13 Going on 30 is just one of my favorite movies. And also I just feel like Jennifer Garner is one of the best humans ever. Sorry, getting back to our journey down memory lane. Now for 17 years, it was absolute radio silence in regards to Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Like I said, they both got married to other people. They both had divorces. Jennifer Lopez got with A-Rod, was engaged to A-Rod. Ben Affleck left Hollywood, then came back. Just a lot happened in those 17 years. And now that brings us to present day, 2021. If you remember, JLo and A-Rod actually called off their engagement in April of this year. And just a few weeks after JLo and A-Rod called off their engagement, Page Six reported that JLo and Ben Affleck were spotted hanging out in Los Angeles. I'm I'm telling you, Jennifer Lopez wastes absolutely no time in between relationships. And if you remember around this time, we also got a TMZ report that said Jen and Ben actually started talking back in February of this year. Now, since Jen and Ben's initial spotting in Los Angeles, they have gone from zero to 100 real quick. They've been to Montana together. Ben visited JLo in Miami. That's when he was spotted re-wearing a watch that she gave him years ago. And Miami is also where they had their first official confirmed public kiss. Remember, a source told Entertainment Tonight that they shared a little smooch in between gym sets. They also shared PDA at several dinners here in LA, one of which JLo's kids were actually present at. And you know what? Speaking of kids, they've both already done the introduction process because at the beginning of last month, Jen, Ben, Jen's twins, and Ben's son were actually all seen together at Universal Studios. Now, Ben Affleck's oldest daughters, who are 15 and 12, were not actually present, which does make a little bit of sense. We've heard several reports that Jennifer Garner is a little apprehensive about Ben Affleck introducing the kids to Jennifer Lopez because the relationship is so new. So in my opinion, I feel like the girls might have wanted to sit closer to their mom's side, but who really knows? Regardless, we know that Jen has met Ben's son for sure, and Ben has definitely met Jen's kids. As far as JLo's kids though, a source did recently tell People Magazine that they're slowly getting to know Ben, and things are quote, running smoothly. Also, I've gotta say, bless Jennifer Lopez's kids for being so easygoing, because I don't know if I would quite be the same way. I think it would be really hard for one minute your mom being like, here's my fiance, you're really close with his kids, we're gonna be one happy blended family. Then all of a sudden, nope, we're broken up, and here's my new boyfriend, who's actually my old boyfriend, because we were engaged at one point and now we're back together 17 years later. Here he is, meet his kids. Like that seems like a lot, but the fact that Jennifer Lopez's kids are taking it quite smoothly, I think that's pretty freaking cool. And you know what? I'm glad it's working out that way because it does seem as though Jen and Ben are really into it this time, or at least that's what they're portraying to the public. 
Anyway, last month during JLo's 52nd birthday celebration on a yacht in St. Tropez, her and Ben went Instagram official, and then they also showed a lot of PDA while they were in Italy together. Now, if you're like me and questioning if whether or not Jen and Ben's past affects their future, apparently it's not affecting it at all, as a source recently told People Magazine that Jen and Ben are, quote, not a summer fling. The People Magazine source went on to say, quote, Jen and Ben are planning a future together. They have serious talks about how they can make it all work. Between their relationship, their kids, and jobs, they know it'll be tricky to balance it all. Jennifer is the happiest. She keeps gushing about how amazing Ben is. I mean, I hope so, because she was also seen in Italy wearing Ben's name around her neck. So yeah, despite their very tea-filled and rocky past, apparently 17 years later, Jen and Ben have figured it out and are in it for the long haul. Now that our trip along memory lane is coming to an end, I will say it does appear as though Jen and Ben are in a much different place now as opposed to when they started dating, but I'm still just not convinced that they're in it for the long haul. Personally, I kind of feel like these two might have a two-year expiration date just based on their past and based on some patterns that Jen and Ben have, you know, exemplified during their dating years. But of course, I could be wrong. I feel like they're moving very fast. I feel like they are very in love, very in our face. It's giving me all the 2002 vibes again. And we know that that at some point did fizzle out. So I feel like it's possible that this time around, Benefer 2.0, Benefer 2021 edition could fizzle out. But I could also be wrong and these two could get engaged, get married and live happily ever after for the next 50 years. Honestly, who knows? I'll just say that after this little walk down memory lane, I'm a little skeptical on how long Jen and Ben will last. But again, that's just me. And now I want to hear what you think. Let me know what you think about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's past. Do you think it's going to eventually affect their future? What did you think about this little walk down memory lane? Is there another celebrity couple you would like me to do a deep dive into? Is there another celebrity whose past you'd like me to do a deep dive into or a celebrity feud? Honestly, let out all your thoughts and feels and let out any suggestions down below. While you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to YouTube for my YouTube shorts. Also, you guys, make sure you check out my merch store at houseofhill.com. Also, before I go, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm always trying to come up with new ideas for you guys, new content ideas, because I always want to keep you happy and keep you here in the House of Hill. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You're the best.